married life can be a roller coaster for some people, and it's played out in the upcoming stage play, What Your Man Won't Do. Here in studio are three local celebrities who are a part of the play. Please welcome Vernon Williams, Raheem Devon, and Yana Crawley. Welcome back to Great Day. Hey, thank you, thank you, thank you for having us. Now, you. this play sold out. So I think I want to start with you, playwright, <laughs> right. Vernon. You struck a chord with people with this whole question, what your man won't do. Tell us about it. Yeah, so just, just for me, um, you know, the whole married thing and what your man won't do, in this society we live in now, a lot of uh, extracurricular activities are happening in marriage and stuff like that. So it's to me to get the message out that, you know, when, when, wedded, when marriages are distracted, people can go astray. But love always conquers in the end. So, you know, just stay focused on your marriage and what your marriage needs to be done and what your relationship needs to be done there. If you focus on that, you won't have to worry about what's on the other side of the grass. You sound like you have some real life experience on this subject. I do. Really? <laughs> <laughs> do tell. Tell us more. <laughs> All right, I guess we're just gonna have to see that play. Yeah. You added a matinee, so there's still tickets. Raheem, you've got your music, you've got your foundation, and now you have this play. What attracted you to this project? Well, you know, uh, just start. I'm just starting to try to sort of act in the theater world. Uh, been reading for some roles for films and whatnot. Participating in Love Jones the musical as well. Um, you know, so it's great to be part. For me, what's most exciting about it is the fact that, you know the cast and, and, and just the, the relationships that's been there for years, you know, whether it be from working with artists in the studio, you know, the support in the go-go community to just different films and indie stuff that we've been working on collectively. I think it's a great look to be able to show that you have these artists from different, all different genres and-, and Multi, multi-talented. Yeah, multi-talented, yeah, multi-talented artists, you know, uh, on one stage who are from the city and represent the city, been here long enough where the city claims them, you know? Tell me about the role you play. Well, I play uh, Rocky, which is kind of like, you know, he's he's like the silent, deadly weapon in uh, of, of this thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, okay. You know, uh, so <laughs> yeah, Rocky the, the is what your man won't do, Rocky will do. Well, I don't, yeah. I don't want to say, say Rocky, I, I'm kind of like the save the day kind of guy. Yeah, Rocky. Oh, yeah, Rocky, oh yeah. okay. He's the yeah. save the day kind of dude. Yeah. He's okay. quiet and he comes save the day. Yeah. Will, the, will have, the guys respect you at the end of the day? Oh, that, I mean, oh, well, you know, okay. Okay. I have what you call, you know, I have a, a warped sense of humor anyway. So, like, you know, <laughs> you'll see. With, in theater and, and acting, I like to kind of show, show that side of, you know, the comedic side of Raheem Devon, not so much, you know, the uh, bath, bath and body works. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. You do smell yeah. good right here yeah. every time I see it. Yeah. Right. Yeah, Let's yeah. go to Yana here. Yeah. Yana, this, the name of this play, you know, sparked debate in my office uh -huh. among the ladies. Maybe you at home, what your man won't do. There are a lot of women where their, man, their men won't do something, and it affects their relationship. Like you mentioned, a friend whose man won't travel. Mm -hmm. tell, tell me about this. Well, I play the, the wife in the play, and... Um, you know, when you're in a relationship, you know, there's compromising, there's communication, there, but there are things, like when you're married for a long time, you have to kind of spice things up. You have to kind of keep things going. You know, one might not want to do this, but the other might want to do this, but you still have to come in the middle. But when it's just a flat out, no, I'm not doing it, I'm not thinking about it, I don't want to, it kind of brings a damper on whoever, you know, is trying to implement something new. So me, I'm just tired of the mundane of things. My husband, he's not complimenting me. You know, he's talking about, you know, us women, we're sensitive about our weight. Right. You know, right. he's talking about I picked up a little pound, mm -mm. I'm getting gray hairs. I'm like all of these negative things, but no. you're not complimenting me. You're allowing, you know, this little space for somebody to come and feel it. And then yeah. I get a spark and I'm like, oh, well, my man not doing that at home. I might want to go over here. So, he, so he's not being the do-right man, no. like the Aretha Franklin do-right do man. He's not doing, he's not living up to what he, what he showed me in the beginning. He yeah. got away from it. So the little, the little sugar came in and I kind of tasted the sugar, but you know. My Vernon, yeah. Vernon. I, I know, I'm the, I'm, I'm, the, I'm the bad one here, but like he said, at the end, you know, love conquers all. We, we apologize and we realize that 20 years in the game, listen, it's not worth losing over this little distraction. So, oh, so the marriage, uh, you fight for the marriage? I fight for After it. After tasting the sugar? I yeah. fight for it. Yeah. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Sometimes sugar can brush your teeth, so you better go back and get you the yeah. fix. So, yeah. Vernon, would you recommend couples come see this play? Girlfriends? Who should come see it? Um, well, the statistics show that about 80-something uh, percent women have bought tickets. Okay. So, 
Um, but I would recommend couples come see it, singles come see it, yes. just to see what you should and should not do. Villains, side, 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 uh, side situations. Everything. Everybody, come see it. Everybody. You're welcome. Everybody come see You're it. welcome. Come get a dope. Because it will teach you something. <laughs> yeah, it, it definitely will. It, there's a message, and it definitely will teach you something. I guarantee But, uh, Raheem, if you bring the side situation, should you bring your side situation no. or just the no. side no. situation? No. No. Be careful now. Now, no. I've seen some things on these plays where, you know, no. they came on what we call like an off night or what you might think is a slow night during the week. No. You have your thing don't together. Do it for this one. It's Easter. Don't you know? Don't, don't right. bring. You the know. reason why is because the who's who of this city is gonna be at this show. Yeah. Okay. Bring your Everybody sand. Gonna be there. It's bring your sand to the beach. Bring your sand or your right hand. You bring that left hand. You gonna be in trouble. You gonna be in trouble. <laughs> okay. I, said, I didn't see the first hand. The show is sold out, so don't come with any secrets. No. no. Okay. So the, yeah. So so the eight o'clock show is we got we got like thirty tickets, forty tickets left. That's that's pretty much sold out. Get your tickets to the four o'clock show. The matinee show. There's plenty of tickets left. Come to the 4 o'clock show. Okay, what day? Tell people again. Saturday, March 31st, 4 p.m., 8 p.m. All right, so get your tickets. It's a great thing to come and do. If you have no secrets, if you have no side pieces, then just go and enjoy the play because these are three local talents. DC has so much talent. Thank you for coming and sharing it with us. Thank you, Thank you for having us. Thank you. Thank you. All right, what your man won't do. That's we'll right. be right back after this.